There's a lot going on in our church this weekend, and not just this particular church of St. Andrew in Milford, Ohio, and the Archdiocese, Archdiocese of Cincinnati. But last Tuesday, the Holy Father, he asked us to begin this year of mercy. He announced it in March of this past year, and since March, we have been planning here at St. Andrew, and I want to applaud our worship commission, who started a conversation about what should we do for our people at St. Andrew to bring forth this idea of a year of mercy. So I want to applaud our worship commission, Davila, and our, our other colleague in our office, Kathy Bitzer, who's been very excited about bringing a year of mercy and embracing this year of mercy here at St. Andrew. So that's number one. That's what's going on here today. That's why we had this special uh, movement with the doors. If we say all the time that our doors open wide at the thought of your coming, and we merely sit on our hands and do nothing about it, does it mean anything? But as a community today, in a ritual, we open wide the doors of St. Andrew at the very thought of a year of mercy coming our way. And as a community, we hope to embrace that. So we have the year of mercy, the universal church celebrating the year of mercy, the local church opening up the doors of St. Andrew. Today is Gaudete Day Sunday. Rejoice! We're almost at Christmas. So that's why you see pink in the sanctuary. And of course, we're in the season of Advent. And if I could offer you one word to string all of this together, this one word about the year of mercy, the doors of St. Andrew, this Advent season, if I could offer you one word to consider, it would be this. Wait. Wait. We hear it every Advent, and we're encouraged by our church to wait. Wait for what? Of course, for the second coming of Jesus. We wait for the second coming of the Lord. We are a people vigilant for the second coming, yes? Absolutely. But, once again, if we are in waiting and we do nothing but sit on our hands and don't respond in any way to our faith while we wait for the actual coming of Jesus, there's no meaning to it. You see, the word wait has another meaning. Looking back into its history, its etymology, the word entered the human lexicon in 1200. And the word wait in its fourth de definition means this. It's to be aware of and attentive to the needs of others. To be aware of and attentive to the needs of others. We've often used the word waiter and waitress. It derives from that meaning. Welcome to our fine restaurant, man. I will be serving you. What can I get you, sir? Being aware of and attentive to the needs of others. And that's the vision of the church as we are waiting for the second coming of Christ. The vision of the church is to be aware of and attentive to the needs of others. St. John, John the Baptist in the Gospel today People were coming to him in this moment of repentance saying, what should we do? And of course, he wouldn't use in his language that word, wait. But he was saying, in essence, be aware of and attentive to those who might not have a cloak, especially if you have two. Or those who might be hungry, especially if you have an abundance of food. If you're in the marketplace, be fair with people. Soldiers, we know why you're trained, but be compassionate. Be aware of and attentive to the needs of others. So waiting has two meanings for us as Christians, yes? I think of a hospice worker who didn't know that this would be their vocation, but a family member was dying, the father. And the story was shared that this person 
while they were waiting for the inevitable, waiting for the Father to pass, waiting and sort of going out of their mind, she was also helping her mother, being aware of and attentive to the dying father, keeping him clean and comfortable. And slowly that became a vocation. That's the Christian call. Today, as we open wide those doors, at the very thought of, the, of this year of mercy coming our way, and if we don't open our hearts wide as we wait, it means nothing. Because the year of mercy is about our hearts opening wide to the needs of others. The people on the margins, the lost, the forgotten, the suffering, the deprived, so that we bring them the mercy of God. So the doors, they open wide, and so should our hearts. So the response of the Christian today, the Catholic Christian, is Advent, to wait. Advent, knowing this is not just a four-week period. This is a way of life. And hopefully they will know we are Christian by the way we do wait and how we're attentive to and aware of to respond to the needs of others. Keep waiting.